<laughs> okay, valve should be about there towards the center of the machine with uh, safety support here, a little bit over, so if you don't get it over the edge with this thing, you can back it up a little bit other ways and put some duct tape there. Usually this comes over in this wheel, but I have also this more. Where you can bend it a little bit. Then you rotate. And this lower side usually doesn't come and here you need to use this. Okay, now it's on top and then start rotating. And you want it here? The grippers on the side is not so good. We put plastics there and start to rotate. That's why we need to also rotate with hands. To help. And a lot of these tire paste. Normally I haven't done these big wheels because our machine is so sloppy the metal parts, but Let's see which is the outside mm -hmm. here. So far this is like a normal assembly process, but here comes the special trick. I will not use that at all, we will put it with hand and that's why we need to put the tire paste also to the inside here and you will soon see why we do that. The first part you put again the valve there on the 12 cock. It goes by hand quite easily. Then you put it there. And I bought this assembly tool. Normally it's just the black part, but we added also this to help the assembly process. You put it there. Start putting it by hand. If we go about halfway, then we change places. And with this we just push it here. And the paste now helps here it to slide better over this. And it goes quite easily. And this is 255 45 19 Tesla Model Y tire. Tanku Quentus Asus Evo 3 EV. And it's much easier with this method and this tool than with that and this crappy tire machine. And we didn't get any stretches to the wheel, which was always the problem before. Uh, I also put here uh, this protection pad and here we made a custom uh, plastic part also. And I didn't find where to buy this. They sell these kind of parts online, but I didn't find it, so I made it from polyethylene myself, also that one. We still need to upgrade this. A better, bigger 
which is creepy. This is a little bit loose. I have put here this uh, timing belt which stops the wheel from going wrong direction. And here I bought this universal uh, plastic protection. I needed to cut it a little bit shorter and on the inside I needed to grind off material so it would go deep enough. And now the problem is that it's so slippery, uh, the wheel starts to pin, spin, so we need to put something grippy there on the corner so it's, you don't need to help with your hands to assembly, but uh, this is some Ravagini or something tire machine, but basically same tricks to any old tire machine and you get much safer assembly assembly without any scratches to your wheels which is always not nice here the duct tape you need to replace it quite often or make some custom plastic parts which i probably will also try to do in the future so find a more permanent solution also for this thanks for watching and keep tuning your cars